known for helping those in need, now a repeat target of vandalism. Yeah, and someone broke into a St. Vincent de Paul donation van for the second time in less than two weeks now. WLWT News 5's Daisy Kershaw is tracking all of this. So, Daisy, what are you hearing about the situation? Well, Chris, like you said, this is unfortunately not the first time that St. Vincent has been a target. Less than a week ago, some of its vans were broken into, and then it happened again early this Sunday. But this time, they were able to capture the burglar on surveillance cameras. I get a phone call, and it's like, Jim, it happened again. And show me the video, and it's like the window was broken out, stuff scattered all over the place. St. Vincent de Paul is known for helping those in need from feeding families to making sure people have clean clothes and medicine. Sadly, that hasn't stopped thieves from targeting this Cincinnati institution. It's happened so many times in the last couple of months, I don't even remember. Delivery trucks and vans parked at St. Vincent's Spring Grove Village Thrift Store on SD Avenue, getting ransacked repeatedly. Jim Wenstrup, the vice president of stores, telling me burglars are breaking windows, stealing car parts and loading gear. This is uh, about the 26th time, I think it is, we've counted back that we've had acts of vandalism or theft, and, and every time that happens, it just puts us behind. We use this equipment to go out, retrieve donations, help those in the community. It's costing them more than just time. Repairs and replacements are costing them thousands. $10,000, that's $10,000 that we're not going to be able to provide insulin for somebody, provide a free bed for someone, help somebody with their utility bill. It just, it's, 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 hor it's horrible. All that revenue generated supports all these programs. So when there's a disruption in that, it's like a ripple effect all the way down the line of all the people that were here to help. Winstrup saying he hopes this is the last time it happens, but fears it won't be. I don't know how much more worse to get, you know, much worse it can get. It's gotten exponentially worse here in the last couple of years. Now, I am told that they've been working to update their security, adding more fencing, better lighting, and also more security cameras. I did also check in with District 4 police earlier today. They say no arrests just yet, but again, it's still early in the investigation. Reporting live, Daisy Kershaw, WLWT News 5. Uh -huh.